All right, so 16 weeks ago, February 1st, I decided I was gonna do my, fi my first like official cut. Uh, if you guys don't know what cutting is, pretty much lose weight, lose body fat, retain muscle. Um, last winter, I dirty bulked. I just ate everything in sight, did not track calories, just lifted weights. And I did gain a decent amount of muscle, but it got fluffy as fuck because you don't know what you're taking in. Your body just uses a lot of that extra energy for fat, uh, to store fat and stuff. So February 1st, I decided I was going to do a cut. It was originally going to be three months. Uh, three months, I was just tracking macros, cardio, high-intensity interval training, and just flexible dieting if it fits your macros. That's basically what I did. I'll explain it after I got to show you my results, um, how I did and everything. But we're about to go step on the scale. Starting weight was 220, so we'll see where we are now. So we're gonna do a quick voiceover on this real quick. This is me, um, February 1st, 2017. The reason why it says 1217, thinking it'd be January is because it's in military time, so the military date is, and day, the month and date for the military is backwards. But this is me, about 220 pounds on February 1st, 2017, the start of my cut. So this is me, um, about June 3rd, I believe, the first week of June. This is me coming off my cut, so I'm about to get on the scale here, and you're gonna see how much I weigh right now. And 190.8, 0.8 is probably the camera, so about 190 flat, and sort of around pretty much 30 pounds. All right, so starting weight was about 220. Some of that was water weight, but 220 from 190. 30 pounds down of fat. Um, the only thing new is I got this new tattoo when I was on the cut, which you guys have seen in my other video. I got that while I was cutting. And uh, yeah, let's show you. Uh, let's see what I look like. So I do have a decent layer of abs right here. I'm still holding on to some body fat right here. One thing I did neglect on this cut was hitting abs. So next year I will do a lot more. But definitely, shoulders are more defined. Um, the lighting's a little bad here, but I'm gonna say. See some lats, lats right there. Tattoo. So my chest. Pretty much retained my strength for the most part, which means you did res preserve a decent amount of muscle. Triceps. I'll try and get a back shot right now. Yeah, so, that's my results, guys. Um, I know you guys are probably like, whoa, he's not shredded, whoa, we still got body fat, whoa, he doesn't even have a full six pack yet, but people have different expectations, people want different things. I'm not competing, and I just wanna get my body, I've been dying for 16 weeks, maybe I'll do another mini cut in the, in the, the summer, just to trim things down a bit before going to a lean bulk. Um, a lean bulk is when you just do, instead of dirty bulking, and when like, or you don't track calories, lean bulk is pretty much you go like 200 above your maintenance just to keep just enough to build muscle and just to like and just enough so you don't gain too much body fat. So, um, I think we're zoomed in right now. Whoa, well, we're not zoomed in, are we? What the?
Whoa. You guys just got really up close and personal with me. But yeah, we were pretty zoomed in right there. But yeah, that's my results right now. And I'm going to sit down and explain to you everything I did to achieve those results. All right. So today was the day off my diet for the first time. It's the end of my like 16, 17 week cut. Weighed in about 188 pounds. Uh, I was starting weight. It was about 219, 220. I took my PT, t PT test today. Um, Air Force PT test, quarter 96.6. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating right now while I'm still cutting. Um, my plan right now, since I've been cutting for a while, your metabolism's damaged and stuff. So as soon as you start bumping up calories, your body wants to, your body's in starvation mode right now. So your body just wants to take all that food you can get and store it as fat, which I don't want to do. So I'm slowly increasing calories, not reverse dieting, none of that bullshit. I'm just adding 400 right away. And so I want to rob Lipset's video and he said to do it. So I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm at 2,600 calories right now. More carbs, macros the same, fat back up to normal to get my testosterone hormones leveled out. And uh, I'll show you what I'm eating right now and what I plan on doing. And I'm show you, yeah, show you guys my plan, what I'm doing. And I'm also going to show you guys um, how I lost all the weight. Alright, so, as usual, two slices of low-fat American cheese. Chi cheese flour style, fajita style burritos. Every day, pretty much, I go to the DFAC chow hall and I will get... Brown rice, some soy sauce, or teriyaki sauce in there, some sodium so I get a better pump in the gym, and two slices of uh, two pieces of grilled chicken breast, and I pretty much just have that every day. Every day, it's like all I was having during my cut. It was just that, so it was pretty much just chicken, grilled chicken, burritos, cheese, brown rice, and then I put uh, hot sauce and stuff on it too. So that's basically what I was eating for a while. I have yogurt, Nutrigrain bars. So I actually had a pop tart for the first time in a while. But we're going to slowly increase the calories, find it, eventually try and find my maintenance. See where one to two weeks, get my metabolism, metabolism, my body, all that shit back to normal. And then uh, we're going to start lean bulking eventually. But i got to find maintenance. So we're going to start at 2,600 calories, see where I'm at from there for about two weeks. So we're going to bump it up to around 250, maybe up to 3,000 calories, see how my body reacts. Excess water, glycogen, carbohydrates, and all that shit. It's going to lead to weight gain. So I'm going to wait for my body to level out. Hence why I'm doing one to two weeks of waiting. But how did I lose all that weight? I'm getting into that right now. All right. Good morning, guys. All right. So you guys saw in the beginning, like I was in my uniform. I was in PT gear. And now I'm in civvies because this video was all filmed like all throughout the fucking week because it was so busy. And I don't know if I want to do it or not, but I figured I'm just going to do it. But a little update right now. If you guys saw on Instagram, I posted a picture or posted a video of me on a C-130 saying stay tuned for next Sunday's video, which was supposed to be me flying in a C-130. And um, what ended up happening, well, before that, go on Instagram right now. Make sure you guys follow me, Life of Zeegs. It's going to be on the screen. It's going to be in the description below. And at the end of the, end of the video, there'll be a thing there too. But... Ended up the plane breaking down. They kept saying 30 minutes, 40 more minutes. So then, like, I, I passed out. I woke up. It was like 4:30. So I was on the plane for like three and a half hours on the ground, waiting for it to get fixed. Woke up, hit five o'clock, and they were just like, "Yeah, we're not taking off. We missed our window to take off and shit." So I was like, "All right, fuck it." So I thought I lost my chance of flying, but they're actually flying again next week. The, we got some guys here that are TDY. They're from uh, Okinawa, Japan, so they're flying here for two weeks. So next week, I'm actually going up on a C-130. We're going to be doing some combat maneuvers. I should be able to get in the cockpit. We're going to get some GoPro videos inside the C-130. And then we're going to be hanging out the back with a harness, watching them do helicopter refueling, and just flying over Japan. So that video will be out the following Sunday, the week after you see this video. So be in lookout Sunday. It's going to be great. So in the meantime, we're about to go eat this grilled chicken. We got some brown rice here. We got some cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna grab the key to dieting and just spicing up your food, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Plus, when I go to the gym later, get that sodium, you get a pump. So, we're gonna eat this lunch. I have some running around to do, some bills, I'm gonna go off base and look for some golf club and shit. But, the remainder of this video, we're gonna talk about my weight loss journey how I lost weight, how you can lose weight, all about macros, finding your maintenance calories, calorie deficit, caloric surplus, all that shit, how to adjust your calories, cardio, lifting, recovery times, all that shit, because I want to help you guys lose weight, because a lot of people don't know where to get started, or they do things too stupid, or just something doesn't work out, they lose motivation, so I'm going to tell you what worked for me, 
and how it can work for you. So we'll see you then. All right, so a little backstory before we get into the whole weight loss thing. For guys who don't know, I went to uh, Air Force basic military training in 2016 of summer. And before that I was lifting, but not consistently. And I wasn't really, I really didn't know what I was doing. I knew, I found like I learned so much more through the past year or so of, uh, between lifting and nutrition. I was just going, just throwing weights around, not doing anything, eating garbage all the time. And I expect to see results. And I never understood the whole importance of nutrition and calories when it came to results for you know weight loss or bulking trying to get muscle all that shit so uh i knew since i was gonna be in basic training we we're gonna be running 24 7 and uh we're only gonna be doing calisthenics as in push-ups pull-ups sit-ups so i you're gonna lose all your muscle i talked to a lot of people you lost your muscle i had a little bit of muscle but it wasn't just like a meathead before i went in um so what ended up happening is I went to basic training, made it through all that. I pretty much stayed the same weight. I think I gained, like, I, I don't even know. I think I gained a little bit of body fat because I just ate all the time. I don't even know. I don't even remember. Like, I don't even, I remember what I look like, but I don't, I don't, don't really know what it looked like before basic training compared to when I get out of basic training. Um, I stayed the same. I think I gained a little bit of weight, lost all the muscle that I had, not, not a whole bunch. Um, so I knew in basic training, since I loved the gym, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna go hard this time. I'm gonna not make the same mistakes I did the first time when I was lifting. I've learned so much. I'm gonna apply it this time. I'm gonna go hard. So my thinking was, all right, when I get to when I got to Virginia right after Texas for boot camp, I started lifting again. Strength was so fucking bad. I was like a little old lady lifting. I was throwing up like 20 pound dumbbells and struggling. It was awful. And um, So I started lifting, again, wasn't eating. I was just out of basic training, so I was enjoying like normal food, not just the shit they give you. And uh, I was eating, you know, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Chinese food, Pop-Tarts, candy all the time, donuts, and IHOP, and all that shit, Buffalo Wild Wings, enjoying myself. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really keen on nutrition. I was like, you know what, I'm enjoying myself when I get to Japan. That's when, that's when we're gonna go. That's where we're gonna do this. So I got to Japan, started lifting, uh, when I got here again For the first like week or so until I was moved into the barracks I was eating trash fucking Charlie and Taco Bell and pizza again and then uh, For some reason I thought it was a great idea to do a dirty bulk And for those of you who do not know what a dirty bulk is basically the only way you're gonna gain muscle is if you eat in a caloric surplus pretty much means you provide your body with more calories than it needs so it uses that extra energy to build muscle and there's either a lean bulk where you do like 100 to 200 calories above your maintenance level, like in the surplus, just to keep the fat minimum. I can't fucking stand people with their cars in these parking lots. Um, and then there's the dirty bulk where you pretty much don't count calories, you don't track macros, you eat anything that fucking moves and smells really good, and you just enjoy yourself. And that's what I did. Um, I can't do it now, I'll tell you that much, just the way I've transformed my body, but... I ate pizza, I ate chilies, ice cream, if we had barbecues for work or some, you know, going away kind of crap, I'd eat all that, I would be drinking beer all the time, I'd be anything, nothing was off limits, I ate, I didn't know how many calories I was eating, I was just fucking eating everything in sight, and before, like, the strength gains were crazy, uh, the muscle gains pretty decent, and, but I, I just, whew, after those, like, at the end, towards Christmas time, I was like, all right, I'm gonna start this, like, do a serious cut this time, like February. Cutting is when you lose weight, and you gotta be in a, a deficit. I'll go in that after this backstory real quick. So, I dirty bulked, I ate everything in sight, I just hit the gym like seven days a week. I didn't do any fucking cardio aside from um, the military PT that the Air Force makes us do. And then, um, yeah, so I became, like, February 1st, I look in the mirror, because that was the, when the cut was ending, uh, the bulk was ending. And I was like, what have I become? I looked like fucking Garfield. I was all fluffy and shit, and I was just like, fuck, man. Like, whew, I was, whew, 220 was my highest weight back then. 220, and right now I'm about 192. So, there's my backstory. And cutting-wise, I was going to do, like, an online training, on my personal training. Maybe I'll do it next year, but I decided just to take my approach this time. So here's what I did to lose weight. Um... You guys saw in the beginning the transformation pictures, but basically what I want to go through right now is if it fits your macros. 
If it fits your macros is the only way I probably would have been able to do this. People think the way you lose weight, and the only way you can lose weight is, is like eating fucking grilled chicken, brown rice, salad, and you know, just they think that's it. And they think like the problems with that was when you restrict yourself so much on a diet like that, you're gonna crave those foods and people just feel unmotivated. They don't see results right away. And what happens is they binge, they binge eat, they just fucking keep eating the crap that they used to eat before. And then they give up. They're like, it's not worth it. I love food. I'm staying fluffy, you know? Um, so if it fits your macros, pretty much it. There's macros. Macronutrients are breaks down to three things. Your body processes three ma uh, macronutrients. Your body processes three macronutrients. You got fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Proteins are essential for building muscle, building box proteins, just like amino acids and all that crap. Carbohydrates is your number one source of fuel, like energy for your body. And fats are very, you gotta meet 0.4 times, like I'll go over it in a second because you guys are be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fats are essential for regulating your hormones, keeping everything normal in your body. You're not gonna get fat by eating a bunch of carbs. You're not gonna get fat by eating a bunch of protein. You're not gonna get fat by eating a bunch of fat. Fat doesn't make you fat, carbs doesn't make you fat, protein doesn't make you fat. What makes you fat is you're providing your body with more calories than it actually needs. Over a prolonged period of time, you're putting on extra weight because your body doesn't know what to do with it. And it, it you provide it with enough energy, the rest of it, it's like, I don't know what to do. Boom, it's fat stored all over your body. Depends, genetics play a role where it gets stored. Uh, you know, plenty of people that have like skinny arms and then their, their stomach's fucking fat. You have some people that have a stomach, uh, like fat, like all their fat is held on their arms. And some of the people have like a skinny torso or like, you know, they, they, women tend to hold a lot of body fat on their ass or um, because their hips and stuff because they always complain about that. Sorry, that's true. Um, just genetics and gender play a huge role in where your body fat is stored. But the way you want to start thing out is when you guys are losing a diet, if it fits your macros, is pretty much saying as long as you are within your set macros, as long as you hit your macros, no matter what it is, your body doesn't know the difference between a jelly donut or uh, like 100 carbs of a jelly donut, 100 carbs of brown rice. Your body does not know. As soon as it enters your mouth, like, oh, that's brown rice, it's healthy. It just digests everything in the same way. It just gets broken down the same way. But what it does to you internally can, can affect you over the long time. I'm saying right now, if you guys look like the pizza diet or the jelly donut diet, I don't fucking know. People do all this random shit where they can eat, you can eat anything you want. You can eat straight McDonald's for three months straight and you will lose weight. As long as you're under your caloric intake and you're expending more calories than your body needs, you're gonna lose weight. Is that gonna be good for you internally? Fuck no, it's not going to be. But whatever floats your boat, it's your life. You know, if you wanna do that because you can't commit to a diet, go for it. I don't like calling it a diet because it really is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. I kinda wanna tell you guys what I ate as I did it. But instead of, this video's gonna be crazy long if I explain the whole if it fits your macro thing. So, the if it fits your macros links, explaining everything about protein, carbs, all that crap, caloric intake and all that stuff. There's gonna be a link right in the description below. It's the first link, so make sure you guys click that if you wanna get knowledge on if it fits your macros. But like I said, the first thing you wanna do is your body, you could either be maintaining calories, you can be in a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus. When you wanna lose fat, you want to be in a caloric deficit. And a caloric deficit, duh the fuck caloric deficit is basically expending more calories than your body needs so you got to burn more calories than your body needs because it's going to use that as uh, fat so you get rid of fat only reason i count a macro sure you don't have to count macros in order to lose um weight but in my case since i'm like i like lifting and preserving my muscle i just want to make sure i was getting enough protein and enough fats to keep my hormones regulated so when you guys are cutting for a longer time, your body wants to use, eventually, if, you, if your protein's not high enough, it's gonna wanna turn to muscle for energy and burn your muscle. And you don't wanna learn, uh, burn your hard-earned muscle that you gained in your bulk in the winter. So basically, I just kept my protein high. That's only reason I track macros. The other thing I wanna talk to you guys about, about how this was all possible, you gotta use um, this app called MyFitnessPal. If you guys are not familiar with MyFitnessPal, it's a free app on the App Store, it's probably on Android, it's on Android too. It's, uh, it's made by Under Armour, changed names a couple times, uh, changed companies, I mean, ownership. But MyFitnessPal is basically a nutritional database and a caloric goals and crap. So you enter your weight, your height, your age, and you click at goals. You can either lose, lose weight a week, maintain, or you can gain. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna estimate based on your activity levels, your age, and all that shit, it's gonna give you a set amount of calories to eat. And it has a nutritional database of everything on there. So you go to food, I don't know if it's gonna adjust, 
probably won't. Stop fucking adjusting on me. I don't know. But it's got food, water, exercise, and weight. You can log in there. I was just doing food, but anything that has a barcode or anything that's generic, normal crap, or just anything. It's got every food database in there. So what you do is, if you guys want to see results, and you want to make sure you're not eating too less or too much too soon or something like that, track your calories. At first, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but at, like when you guys finally see results and you see how your body reacts to certain things, certain little changes, it's, it's, it's great knowing what you put into your body and how your body reacts to it, so that way you can monitor your progress and add adjustments from there. So my fitness pal, I highly recommend it logging your food, tracking your calories in it, and then at the end of each day, if you click the uh, finish diary button, once you read your goals, it will tell you how much you're going to weigh if you keep eating at that level in like a week or two or three weeks. That's going to give you some motivation. It's going to be like, hey, you know, if you keep eating it like this, you're going to weigh this much less in, you know, a couple weeks. And that kept me motivated sometimes too. A lot of big things now we're talking about weight. I'm not a huge person when it comes to weight. Like people are always just like, I want to be this weight. I'm not at my goal weight yet or something like that. Personally, since I was on the cut, I can tell you I was on a cut for 16 weeks. I didn't get crazy shredded, like six pack abs, everything. I just wanted to drop a decent amount of body fat to feel good, to look better. And that's the number one thing when you guys are dieting. You don't want to suffer through it. It's not worth it. Make it make it as flex. It's called flexible dieting. Like I said, the flexible dieting and if it fits your macros link will be in the description. It explains all that. If you guys have any other questions and those links don't provide enough answers for you guys, drop them in the comments. I will get back to you. But you want to be flexible so you can provide your body with good nutrition, good exercise, and then you can just sustain this lifestyle longer on. You don't have to give up the foods you like. Like you guys have to understand. Like 16 weeks. Okay, you go on. My fitness pal, the first thing you want to do, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, I'm kind of just thinking, um, but first thing you want to do is you want to find your caloric intake. And basically, what that is, your body uses calories as fuel and all that stuff, it's just how you survive. So, what you want to do is either go with My Fitness Pal and they will estimate, if you click maintain weight, it's going to estimate your maintenance calories. Maintenance calories is how many calories you can eat, your body will not lose or gain weight. It's what it needs to survive and be normal to do everything fine. So for mine right now, it's about before, when I was like 220, it was close to like 4,000 calories. But now that I dropped like pretty much 30 pounds, it's about 2,800, 2,850. I'm still kind of experimenting with it to see where I level off. But if you guys, there's going to be links in the description below for caloric TD calculators, total daily energy expenditure calories calculators. So you're going to go in there, you're going to put your name, well not your name, they don't give a shit, your age, your weight, your height, and your activity level. And if you're more active, you can eat more calories. If you're less active, you can eat less calories. And that's your maintenance calories. So once you find your maintenance calories, that's when you don't gain weight or you don't lose weight. That's just what you need to provide your body with everything to survive and be normal. After that, you either have two goals. You can be in a surplus to gain muscle or to gain weight, or you can be in a deficit to lose fat. But this video is more toward, towards um, losing fat, losing weight. So if you guys want to see another video, if this was helpful about bulking or gaining more muscle, I can make that. Just gotta let me know. But for the first thing you want to do, most diets, when you guys are losing weight, you want to lose just like one to two pounds a week. Anything more than that, you're probably burning muscle or something's not right. As soon as you start dieting, at first, you are going to lose a lot of water weight from that glycogen and the carbohydrates being dropped and stuff. That's normal. But after that, you just slowly see the weight come off about one to two pounds a week. So once you find your maintenance calories, you want to get a 500 caloric surplus. Um, what I did is start at 500. So say this is not your maintenance, this is not my maintenance, this is just an estimate right now. The only reason, the only way you find your maintenance is clicking a link in the description. But finding your maintenance calories, say your maintenance is 3,000 calories, okay? It takes 3,500 calories to burn a pound of fat, just like it takes 3,500 calories to gain a pound of fat. It depends if you're in a surplus or in a deficit, but this is about being in a deficit, losing weight. So if you expend 3,500 calories, you will burn one pound of fat. So, 3,000 calories is your maintenance. Most people, to be safe, you start in a 500 caloric deficit. So now you're at, you eat at 2,500 calories, three times, I mean, seven days out of the week, and then that totals 3,500 calories, you'll lose a pound of fat. And it's basically, what you wanna do is just track your food. It's so simple, at first it sucks. Like, I use the food scale, I track my macros. At first it sucked, but I love doing it. Even now, like, I'm still doing it. I don't know, like, there's times where I didn't do it, and like, I'm saying, that we're all human. You guys have to understand that consistency, see I can't even fucking speak today, consistency is key to results. You guys, I at first too, like you guys are going to feel better, but don't 
be discouraged when you go in the mirror and you look and you're like, fuck, like, why don't, you know, I had grilled chicken. Why am I not jacked? Or why am I not fucking looking like, you know, I don't fucking know. Like, why am I not shredded right now, you know? You guys have no consistency is key. Remember this. You didn't gain that weight overnight. You're not going to lose all that weight overnight. It's over a period of time. If you commit yourself, you'll be a better person. You'll understand when the time comes. Every week, I suggest taking a progress picture. Go in the mirror, same lighting, same clothes. Take your shirt off, whatever you want to do, and take pictures. Take uh, pictures, monitor your weight. You could too. I wasn't a fan of it. I, mean, I might try to get next week, but there's an, there's an app called Weight Drop where you just pretty much enter, you weigh yourself every morning, and then out of the seven days, you find your average weigh-in. So if your weigh-in is gradually going down, you're doing things right. If it goes up a couple times, that's fine because water fluctuates so much compared to, not water, but weight fluctuates a lot compared to water weight, glycogen, carbohydrates, stress, sleep, all that stuff. You guys wanna make sure you're getting enough sleep and all that, but like I said, find your maintenance, calculate it in the description, if it fits your macros in the description, and then you're gonna 500, you burn 3,500 calories between the combination between your diet and cardio. I suggest keeping your cardio light off the start because as you progress in a diet, it's gonna take harder for you to lose weight. You're gonna consistently have to drop calories. So it's either you drop calories or you just be more active. And you're not gonna to wanna to just start dropping calories like crazy. So you wanna save your cardio for the future because your body is not meant to lose weight. Your body's gonna go in survival mode eventually. It doesn't wanna lose weight, so it's gonna be harder for it to lose weight. So I'd start off with like, two to three cardio sessions, you know, just run a mile, burn 100 calories, walk, do something, and then slowly increase cardio by like, you know, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or another day each week, and you'll see the weight slowly come off. If you guys ever hit a plateau in dieting, what you wanna do is either your body became adjusted to your calories and your activity levels to be more active, or drop calories. I don't recommend dropping calories. If you guys can be more active, be more active, add another cardio session, and then don't be crazy and just be a cardio bunny like most people are these days and just hop on the treadmill and run. I mean, by all means, if you guys, me personally, I had muscle on me, so I don't want to lose my muscle, so it wasn't crazy with cardio. But if you guys don't lift and you just want to do cardio all the time, so be it. It's a great way to lose weight. So make sure you guys check the links in the description for the If It Fits or Mac, I was explained, because right now I'm going to tell you what I was pretty much eating and then... Um, for the TD calculator to find out your maintenance calories. Everybody's different, so you don't just Google and see somebody else's maintenance calories and think that's yours. It's trial and error. Eat at that calories for like a week or so, see if you're gaining weight. If you are, lower it a little bit. If you're losing weight, gain it up a little bit until you find your maintenance. But once you find your maintenance, that's when you want to do your 500. Or if you want to see results quicker, do a 750 deficit. Anything more than that, you'll see results quicker, but it's going to be harder to... Uh, maintain that for the future. Pretty much my diet consisted of, I went to the chow hall since I live on a military base and I pretty much got grilled chicken, uh, grilled chicken sandwiches or just grilled chicken, brown rice every day, some soy sauce. I'd come back in my room, I'd throw the chicken cutlets on my food scale just because I want to track macros. You don't have to go this crazy. You guys are probably like, what the fuck? This kid's an animal. Like, why is he doing that? Um, I just want to make sure I was eating, my cal eating enough calories or eating at that goal. Um, this is key for dieting right here. Frank's Red Hot Sauce to add some flavor to your shit. Like I said, I was you know, I was having cereal, I was still eating pancakes, I was still having, you know, um, Pop-Tarts, I'd fit it in randomly. I would have, still, I used to come in and make grilled chicken tortillas, American cheese, fucking buffalo sauce, have those, still had Cheez-Its. You could eat whatever you want within moderation, just feed yourself with enough nutrition, allow yourself some cheat meals, allow yourself a cheat day if you want, maybe once a week and once every two weeks. And you can, as long, like I said, as long as you're hitting your macro targets, if you're tracking macros, if not, as long as you're staying under that caloric goal that, you, that the app provided or that you found on the internet and you're tracking your calories, you will lose weight. So as simple as that. You can eat whatever the fuck you want and lose weight. I just chose to do, uh, ate fish, I had pasta, brown rice, grilled chicken, pop tarts, pancakes, uh, pizza, burgers. Within moderation, though, it was mainly I was eating the same shit all the time, but it just never got tired. And I was having protein shake and all that stuff. So, I think that's it for this video, guys. It's pretty much flexible dieting. If a fizzy miracle is explained down below, and pretty much just pretty much what I ate. I drank water all the time. You don't really want to, aside from your protein shake, try not to get your calories from drinking water or soda or pop. If you guys are one of those weird motherfuckers, um, but yeah, like I carried this around the whole time. This is like almost a gallon of water right here. And I drink like 
No, this is like half a gallon, so I drink like two of these a day. You want to make sure you're getting enough water, make sure you want to get enough sleep, providing your body with enough recovery and nutrition to get by. But that's about it for this video. If you guys have any other questions about dieting, how I lost weight in particular, anything for regards to my diet or anything like that, I'm here to help you guys with fitness goals. Um, I'm not saying I'm some professional online coach, but I just dropped 30 pounds and my results were pretty good. So if you guys have any comments, questions about losing weight, dieting, cutting, all that stuff, I'm in, you know, drop a question in the comments and I will get back to you guys. If you guys want to see a video about bulking, gaining muscle and all that stuff, voice crack again, 20 years old, I'm still voice cracking. Um, yeah. So. Next Sunday, like I said in the beginning of this video, be on the lookout for that C-130 video where I'm riding on a C-130 doing some cool shit. You're not going to miss that. If you guys are stopping on the first time, subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more workout videos as far as me. Because right now I'm just maintaining my weight right now, but I'm going to eventually progress into a lean bulk. So I'm working out about six days a week right now. Uh, one rest day on Sunday. So if you guys want to see more gym videos, let me know in the comments below. The motor vlogs will still coming. The I do want to start recording in the gym more because I just love working out and want to help people and just show people what a great lifestyle it is. But like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I'll see you guys on Sunday.